Hey everyone, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Che Dorena. Under the sea, darling it's better, down where it's wetter, take it from me. If we ever did a list of top 10 Disney bangers, this would 100% be on the list. The Little Mermaid soundtrack is probably on top 5 best albums of all time. But today we're not going over the best Disney tracks, we got some mysteries to solve baby. We know little about what's going on under the water. Statistically, we know more about the surface of the moon than what's going on under the sea. So today, we're going to try to learn a little more with today's list of top 10 mysteries of deep sea locations. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to be reading out some comments from the top 10 scary things secretly living in your body part 2 video. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and hit the little notification bell. Also, make sure you follow Most Amazing Top 10 on Instagram and Facebook for more content because there's tons of stuff on there and you can get to know the hosts a little bit better. And check out our new channel tier list. We're ranking everything over there. Without taking any longer, let's get into it. Number 10, Port Royal Jamaica. Port Royal in Jamaica used to be the most banger place on earth. It was once considered the world's best party town for pirates back in the 1600s. You know how much of a good time you have to be for pirates to collectively decide you're one of the best place to party? Pirates are maybe the best partiers of all time. However, God probably got all butthurt about this because in June of 1692, a massive earthquake hit the area followed by a huge tsunami which buried the whole city underwater. Around 3,000 people died and the city has been left underwater to this day. This is definitely a huge bummer. It's considered an archaeological wonder, but I think we all need to pour one out for our fallen pirate brothers and sisters who are just trying to have a colossal rager when the whole world came crashing down on them. I hope they're all up there in heaven getting tanked and rinsing puke out of their little funny mustaches. Number 9. The Gulf of Mexico Shipwreck I wouldn't want to be the captain of a boat. You have so much responsibility with all the people on board and you don't even get to do the best things on a boat which is take it easy and lay around the whole time. I especially wouldn't want to be the captain of a boat going through the Gulf of Mexico. There's over 2,000 shipwrecks in this area. Sailing through here is like your buddy dating someone crazy even though you told them not to do it and then big surprise they burned down their house. Well there's one shipwreck in particular that has everyone interested. It was discovered when Exxon was laying some pipe down in the Gulf. It's a ship that's estimated to be over 200 years old. The mystery about this old boat is that all attempts to do extensive research on the vessel have failed. Computers break down, robots stop working, people have begun to speculate that the boat is cursed and whatever is inside it needs to remain a secret. Ooh. Number 8. Fauna Seraclium. This city was once one of the most important ports in the Mediterranean. There must have been an insane amount of spice rolling through this area. I bet the whole city smelled like the candle section in Bed Bath & Beyond. It's unknown why this amazing port got sucked into the ocean. Probably another earthquake. Or maybe it was Godzilla climbing out of the sea and smashing it into the ocean. Either or is really possible. Over the years a ton of deep sea excavations have happened in the area and so much has been dug up. Giant statues, gold coins, lost hieroglyphs. They can all be found in this area. It seems that the city was a major hub for several different cultures to come through and make trade. It's a huge bummer to think about all the knowledge that was lost in the sinking of this city. And all the spices. Man. Number 7. The Aegean Sea Ruins The Greeks have a crazy long history. It's full of war, politics, coups, betrayals, some magic dudes lying in the clouds somewhere. I think one of the craziest parts about Greek history is that everyone only wore sandals. I mean in every movie about ancient Greece, every person is in sandals the whole movie. Alexander the Great is like, I'm taking over your country and all the people are like, your toes are out dude, it's so disrespectful. But something even crazier than fighting war in terrible footwear is the sunken city right off the coast of Delos. It's thought to be the ancient city of Cain where the Athenians defeated the Spartans. Archaeologists call it an underwater Pompeii since there's so much history that has been preserved in this city. This city has helped archaeologists learn so much more about the ancient Greeks. Number 6. Baia We got another awesome place that ended up in a watery grave. Man I guess that's why they built Las Vegas in the middle of the desert. There's no way water could suck away anyone's good time anybody was having there. Baia was a hedonistic playground where people would come to bang and party. It would even attract the rich and famous. People like Julius Caesar had vacation homes there and would come to visit constantly. This place was basically the playboy mansion of its day. There were statues and artwork of great legends like Achilles and Odysseus but unfortunately the city was blasted by the Saracens in the 8th century and no one was ever allowed to have fun there anymore. 
Huge bummer. By the time the 1500s rolled around, the city was abandoned. Because what's the point of having a beachside town with no debauchery? And after centuries of volcanic activity, the city was pushed underwater. Now it's a dive site you can visit to see all the fun that was lost. Number five, the Milky Sea. I know this one sounds super gross. The Milky Sea makes me think of a giant bowl of snot that you have to cross in order to complete some task in a video game. But this one is actually pretty cool. Popping up randomly at night, the Milky Sea is an effect caused by a ton of bioluminescent plankton in the water. This makes the sea look like it's glowing and gives off a milk effect. It kind of looks like a giant rave is going on underwater. This thing can be huge, sometimes as large as Connecticut. It's still unknown why the plankton group up like this. It could be for mating or maybe they just like to hang out. But what is known that this has been happening for centuries, back before you could explain these things through science. So sailors thought it was all magic. That would have blown some dude's mind. The ocean is glowing. Quick, cut off your pinky to satisfy the gods. Number four, India's underwater city. Another city lost to sea. We can assume that this one was another party town swallowed up to make sure people keep living that pleb life. Although I can't confirm whether or not this place was an endless fiesta, I can confirm that this city is old as hell. It was discovered off the coast of Dwarka, one of the coastal cities of India. After its carbon dating, it was estimated to be around 9,500 years old. If this city is indeed that old, it can mean that the reason it ended up underwater was the melting of the ice age which happened around 10,000 years ago. This would mean that this is one of the oldest cities ever discovered. It would be 5,000 years older than the oldest Mesopotamian city ever discovered. The uncovering of the city was a major find and it could unlock secrets as to where we came from and who our ancestors are. Number three, the Bimni Road. The most famous underwater city of all time. It's said to have been the mecca of science and culture and people from all over the world would come there to learn. Well it's Atlantis of course, the apparent lost city where Aquaman is king and pops out every now and again to help the Justice League with fish related problems. While well, this sunken road off the coast of the Bimi Islands in the Bahamas is said to have led to the missing metropolis. It's made of giant carved pieces of limestone that are too precise to have been formed in nature so they must have been man made. Now did they actually lead to a city? Well, I have no idea, but it's safe to say that there was some sort of structure built in this area out in the middle of the ocean. So, who knows? Number two, the Chinese Atlantis. Number two, the Chinese Atlantis. North America isn't the only place with its own ancient sunken city underwater. China has a mystery city of its own. It was called Chichen, and honestly, everything there was going great. It wasn't a party city. It didn't need to be condemned by the gods. It wasn't Pompeii, and it got hit with a natural disaster. It was actually just chilling in the open until 19. 1959. What happened was the Chinese government wanted to build a new power dam and in order to do so they needed to sink a city. The bummer is that some of the structures in the city were over 1300 years old. It was a piece of history that got sunk for a dam. The good news is that the city is under so much water that it has been preserved and now is a scuba diving hotspot. Number one, Atlantis of Japan. Has no one ever thought of giving these places their own original names? Instead of calling everything that falls underwater Atlantis, I'm going to drop my phone in a candlelight bath and called Atlantis of my basement apartment. This joke is even funnier because I don't have a bathtub at my place. I would have to flood my stand up shower. Definitely not as romantic. Well this city apparently fell into the ocean 2000 years ago off the coast of Yonegumijima after a massive earthquake hit. Imagine an earthquake hitting before science and you think God is shaking the world because you didn't pray 18 times every day. Now the city sits at the bottom of the ocean. Some speculate that it's just rock formations. But but there does seem to be a 25 meter tall pyramid at the site, so I don't think that's a natural rock formation. That's our list, and as promised, I'm going to be reading out some of the comments from the Things Secretly Living in Your Body Part 2 video. Now I don't know what this name is because it's written in a foreign language, but they wrote, Lungs exist, seeds. Free real estate. God. This made me laugh out loud. I love memes. I love meme jokes. Well done. I Loved it. Tessie wrote, Jade Arena has definitely become my favorite host on the channel. Oh, Tessie, thank you so much. I hope I can keep making everyone here great content. Zachariah Barrientos wrote, My belly button smells like black soap and shea butter. Lies. No one has a nice smelling belly button. Nobody. Well, everyone, thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you all liked today's list. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Also, 
you gotta hit that comment section because there's a good chance I could read your comment out in a future video. And make sure you follow Most Amazing Top 10 on Instagram and Facebook. There's loads more content over there and it's a great way to get to know myself and the other hosts just a little bit better. Until next time, I've been Shade Arena and I'm gonna go start a new party city because no one else is doing it.